Welcome, Waffle Waffets. We are back with the brilliant Far Cry 6 on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in a previous video, we spoke to Camilla Montero, and she told me that she needed our help to take down a lieutenant. So we did find the lieutenant, but unfortunately, the lieutenant was walking around with Jose Castillo. So for that reason, we couldn't take him down at that moment in time, so the lieutenant managed to escape. Now, after doing a little bit of searching, a little bit of digging, we found out where the lieutenant has gone to, and that is the water tower. So we're going to head over to the water tower, and we are going to find the lieutenant. Now, there's a couple of things we need to do today. Obviously, we need to find this lieutenant with Camilla, but I also want to take Dan this weather station over here and take over it for the gorillas because then I'm going to unlock the helicopters and we can use it to uh, get to a few locations a lot faster and I also need to take down this anti-aircraft gun as well so every time I take off with my helicopters I don't get shot out of the sky so I think what we'll do is we will firstly go and find the lieutenant and then if I've got enough time then we will come back here and we will take over this weather station and take down this anti-aircraft gun so let's uh, fast travel back to base I should have probably actually looked around a little bit first because I didn't search the area very much. There might have been a lot of supplies for me. Oh, well, never mind. There's plenty of supplies in this game anyway, all over the place. Um, is there any upgrading I need to do? I don't think I do. I did a lot of upgrading in the previous video. I think I've got a bit more durable plastic. I might be able to upgrade my uh, shotgun, actually. Let's go and have a look at my shotgun situation whilst I'm here, because we're about to go into quite a big combat scenario, so it'd be good to have a lot of supplies and good weapons. Um, primary weapon, shotgun. I've only got one shotgun. It would be nice if I could find like a really good shotgun. High damage, close range, high spread pellets. High caliber single shot rounds. Oh, that lowers the damage. I don't want that. It does make the accuracy a bit better. I mean, this one might be good. It pretty much just uh, increases the damage a little bit. And these, this, I'm going to get this because they're already pretty strong. And there ain't no downside to it. Yeah, we're going to get that. Fuck shot rounds. I uh, don't look like I've got enough. Yeah, we need industrial circuits and durable seals. Yeah, we've already got the little laser. Laser, we don't need much else for that. Appearance. Oh, we'll keep it looking like that. It looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Should we change the charm to something else? Maybe get one of these. A cigar cutter. Might be pretty useful. I am hanging out with a lot of people from Spain and that. So uh, they definitely like their cigars in like Spain, Mexico, just everywhere in the Caribbean, don't they? They love a good Cuban cigar, don't they? Now, Cuban cigars are flipping expensive. Okay, right. You better keep up with me, Chorito, because uh, I'm going to be on a pony. You know, if you put your paws on the back of the horse, we can give you, you could pretty much do a wheelie all the way to uh, the water tower. <laughs> just put your little paws on the back of the horse and then we'll just pull you along on your wheels. Lovely. Hopefully this horse doesn't get murdered like in the previous video. I flipped out a horse in the previous video if you didn't see it. And uh, I got off the horse to speak to somebody to find out some new locations uh, for just random stuff. And then a flipping random truck that wasn't even a baddie either, it was just a normal truck, a civilian, run over my fucking horse. <laughs> so I was pissed. Actually, oh no, never mind. Uh, I mean, we might be able to. No, actually, no, no, I'm not going to be able to. I was going to say, maybe we can go up on the mountain and then jump off and use our wingsuit. It might be a bit faster, but I'm not sure if I can get up on that mountain. Plus, we're really close anyway. And we could take a gorilla path, so we should be pretty safe. I really don't like it when there's still like a little bit of rain in the air, but the sun is out. Because I don't know how to feel. Because the sun is out, so you normally feel happy when the sun is out, but it's also still raining. So how do you feel? I suppose you get to look forward to a look forward to a rainbow, I guess. That's something to look forward to. You gotta love a rainbow, didn't you? That's one thing, that's the only reason I would like to go on a plane, I reckon. Because when you go on a plane, you can see a rainbow, but instead of it being the ar arch, it's a, a whole circle, because you're seeing it from up above. I think that'd be pretty cool. I'd like to take a picture of something like that. 
I really don't want to go on a plane now. I've got such a bad fear of flying. I've never been on a plane. I've got a passport and that. I got it in 2019, but yeah, I, I don't know. Very, very anxious about going on a plane. I'm going to have to go on a plane one day, so I've got to go to America and meet Tom Wolf. Hey, over here. What can you tell me? Danny, the army's trying to control our movement with a checkpoint. Taking it out is a priority. Appreciate it. I already know where the checkpoint is, or is there another one? Yep. Oh, okay, there's two. <laughs> Man, they've got a lot, a lot of places around here. Just make sure you don't take down the FND bases, all of them. Leave one of them uh, uncaptured in case you want to get that trophy for um, taking over an FND base with a co-op partner. So make sure you leave one FND base uncaptured so you can do it with a partner. If you're, if you're after the platinum trophy, that is. If you're not bothered about trophies, then you don't need to worry. I mean, when I did this mission off camera, it was um, it was night time, so it was a pain in the butt. But now that it's nice and sunny, we should get through this pretty easily. I think it's just a lot of snipers we need to take down. I think I can do this relatively easy. So why do you want this guy so bad anyway? El come mierda checks all the tobacco leaves for the vivido process. We fuck up the leaves, we fuck up the cancer drugs, we fuck up Napoleon e Pequeño's operation. Make him look bad in front of old Uncle Anton. Lord of heat. How you wanna do this? We kill soldiers until we find him. And then? And then we kill more soldiers. Simple. I like it. Chorizo, come here. I wouldn't recommend going in there all guns blazing. And the reason for that is... Why does it keep saying no road to follow? I'm not even on the horse anymore. I oh, better not stay up there for the whole video. Because that's going to drive me absolutely insane. <laughs> right, let me quickly... Um, let me quickly jump on a horse. Just to get rid of that no road to follow message. Because that's going to drive me absolutely insane. And I'm sure it will drive a lot of you insane. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend running into that base and just going crazy because they've got a tank in there. So if you do that, then one of the troops will jump in a tank. And you don't want to be dealing with a tank in this game. Oh, the message is finally gone. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> right, so... I think we can mark a lot of the snipers from down here. I see you, sniper. So we've got that sniper there, which we will take down first. And then we're going to climb up these ladders, these two here, and we'll be up on that roof. And then I think we can take down the rest. There's another sniper over there. I think there's one over here. Yeah. I think mean, there's another one in the distance, but I don't think I'll be able to mark it from here. And then you've got a bunch of troops on the ground level. Right, you wait here for a minute. If you're wondering where I got this uh, sniper rifle, it's called the Mixtape. And I got it from the Ubisoft Club. It cost like 60 coins or something, if I remember correctly. Oh, is that sniper moving? Oh crap, that's going to mess up my plan. Okay. I suppose we can uh, stab him with the old machete. But this, uh, yeah, but this sniper rifle, I did mention this in a previous video, it's not, not the best. It's, um... It's got a modification on it that reduces the range and it's a right pain in the ass. Because you don't want a sniper rifle with bad range. Oh, it's a lady. Sorry. <laughs> I thought it was a man. And that dude over there doesn't seem to want to move. I suppose possibly we should shoot that one over there. Because that one over there is looking in this direction. So maybe we shoot that one over there. Then that guy will start looking at that guy over there that's been killed, and then we can machete him right in the butt. Or her. I just don't want to set the alarm off. I really don't want that tank to appear. You can use your Supremo to destroy it, but it doesn't always break it that easily. It normally leaves it with a bit of health remaining. Oh, 
and I didn't even see it. Man, how blind are you? Oh, I suppose he's looking down the scope, ain't he? Or she. Yeah, that's a he. <laughs> oh, that hell! Oh man, that's the helicopter. I uh, yeah. If if you wanna if you wanna do this in a better order, take down this base first, and make sure you take this down as well. Then do this mission, because then you can take that helicopter over there, and you can take it back to your helicopter pit stop point, and you can keep the helicopter forever. You scared the shit out of me, Camilla. I bet there's another sniper. I can't remember where. It's got to be over here. Oh, yeah, look. Quick. Once they see that body, all hell's going to break loose. We just about managed to get him in the face then. What's going on? Oh, why can't I break it? Uh, you know what we could do? Did that kill anybody? What did that even just do? That's the tank they can take out. I mean, I, I suppose I could leg it over there to that tank. Oh, that's. Uh, I think that might be the. Uh... I think I just got two people then. Oh no, they're running for the tank. Just use my Supremo as well. And we have to kill all the soldiers as well. <laughs> Look at him over here. He's like he's from the division. Right. This has gone tits up in it. I want to stay up here because of that tank. Plus, if anyone climbs up the ladder, we can just shoot them in the butt. <clears throat> this flipping guy's health is disgusting. Just a bloody tank shooting at me. Right, I've had enough of this. There you go, much better with the right weapon. There we go. Time to meet the scientist we've been after. Okay. Jesus. Oh, sorry about that, Wolf and Wolf. That must have been very, very annoying to watch. <laughs> it's because that fucking tank. I shot him, though. I, I, sh I don't even know how they saw me. It was that flipping lieutenant guy, wasn't it? Taking too many shots to die because I was using the wrong gun. 
Alright, let's finally meet this lieutenant. Mierda is right. You look like shit, hermanito. Hermanito? We've been hunting your brother this whole time. Who the hell are you? Why didn't you just tell me? Alejandro, come on. We're going home. Vete pal carajo. Suéltame! I'm not going anywhere. I told you before, and I am telling you now. I believe in Castillo. I believe in Viviro and Jose. He's seen the vision through. Napoleon el Pequeño is a slave driver. He's fucking loco. <laughs> Says the person trying to kidnap me. You change your name. You change your uniform, but you are still a Montero. And Papa still got a machete up his ass. And you are running through the jungle like you did when you were five. Except now you kill people and you got yourself, what is it? The spike? The sword. Wow, clever. What? You are going to stab me now? Papa, I'm sick. I don't care. Papa gave up on me a long time ago, and you know it. Family's at beach, no? That's what I hear. We should split up. Not a word about this to Papa. Damn. What a dicky thing to say to an orphan. Family's a bitch. How would he know he's an orphan? <laughs> <clears throat> right, so... That's probably why she didn't allow me to shoot him. Uh, why she didn't allow me to shoot um, Anton's nephew, which is the main guy of this area, Jose Castillo. She didn't allow me to shoot him. Hola, you good? See, si. I never thanked you for helping me track down Ali. I wasn't exactly honest with you. All good. Just glad I know the real story now. I was worried you wouldn't help if you knew my brother was military. He's a traitor. See, si. but he's still family. Come back to camp soon. We got more work to do. But yeah, that's why she didn't allow me to shoot Jose Castillo. Because if I had done that, then I might have shot her brother or her brother might have gotten killed. And that's why she didn't allow me to do it. That's pretty dicky, that is. So because of her, we couldn't flip and kill Jose. Um, yeah, Jose. We could have shot. We could have killed Jose much sooner, but thanks to her, we couldn't. We should be pretty pissed off with us, actually. I mean, I'm feeling pretty pissed off at the moment because of how long it took me to do this bloody mission. Man, that was a flipping nightmare. I'm going to grab the uh, helicopter and we're going to head over to that FND base and we're going to take over it. <clears throat> if I could get the helicopter relatively close without destroying it, I mean, there's an uh, anti-aircraft gun right there. So I'm going to probably have to like jump out and use my parachute anyway. But if I do manage to get it over there without breaking it and land it somewhere, after we've took the base over, we can pick it up and we can deliver it. I keep losing my uh, voice. <laughs> <clears throat> I keep losing my voice at the moment. I do apologise. I'm not sure why. Okay, so we're going to be taking over this for the rest of this video. Preferably with no surprises. Oh, watch out for the crane. Yeah, I know it's restricted airspace. As long as you keep down relatively low, it ain't a problem. But it's just hard to stay low because of the trees. Ubisoft have done a pretty damn, the developers have done a pretty damn good job with using the uh, DualSense controllers features. The analog sticks, um, the uh, L2 and stuff and the R2 feel very nice. The tension and stuff with guns and things like that, it's very nice. And the vibrations, the haptic feedback with like the spinning propeller right now is beautiful. You can really feel the chopper in your hands. <laughs> that sounds filthy, doesn't it? I think I'm low enough for the anti-aircraft gun not to shoot at me. I, I don't think so, maybe I'm not close enough yet. Attention, unidentified pilot. This airspace is restricted. Land now. 
Ah, perfect. There's a, oh, there's a marker on the map to let you know. Oh, sweet, we can land it relatively close. I'm very low down at the moment. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, okay, so if we can land it over here, hopefully it doesn't get blown up or we don't lose it. Yeah, sweet. That's a very nice landing. Look at that. Oh, look, there's rocket. Oh, shit, is there rockets on it as well? I knew there was guns on it, but I didn't know there was rockets. Okay, right, let's try and do this as flawlessly as possible. That's where I want to get to up there, because that's where I can snipe people from by the looks of it. I've got a better sniper rifle this time around. When I did this off camera, I didn't have any good guns. There's a broken fence there as well. Oh great, well they're already aware of me, so that's not good. I just don't want the alarm to go off. I don't even know, like, I shot that alarm, that's what pissed me off with that other mission. I shot the alarm and it, it didn't break. Why didn't it break? Oh. I don't even know if I'm hidden in here. I can hear a Rottweiler. Why is it telling me there's bad guys nearby on the minimap? Uh, don't, don't, don't come in here, don't, don't come in here, Cortez, um, not Cortez, who the hell's Cortez? Don't come in here, Chorizo. No, no, no. I keep shooting people in the head with the wrong gun. Like, the the, uh, the ammo type in this gun isn't good for that stuff. I need to switch over to um, this gun for that. With the armor piercing rounds. This has got soft target rounds. I need the armor piercing rounds. The ammo really pisses me off in this game. I've still got my helicopter. See, because he's wearing a helmet, like if I was to say armor piercing rounds, that's why I need to I need to make sure I switch to this gun. See, straight through the helmet and it kills him. That's what I need to remember. I keep fucking it up. A lot of it is my fault. But sometimes it is just complete bullshit. <laughs> sometimes it is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, just keep jumping through that gap, I don't mind. I mean, there's a sniper behind me.
book come in handy. Did someone just jump in a helicopter? Oh, that's beautiful. Very nice. <clears throat> Man, this video didn't go very well, did it? <laughs> this video didn't go very well. I do apologize, Wolf and Wolf Vets. There was a lot of very, very amateur uh, gameplay in this video. I apologize. I mean, I did feel like I got screwed over though, because I shot the alarm. So, I mean, that dude getting into the tank was very annoying, but I, uh, I shot that alarm, so the alarm should have never been able to have gone off. Like, maybe the other alarm, because I didn't shoot that one, but they went to the alarm that I shot. Right, where did I put my chopper? Now, oh, here we go. We can now claim this as our very own helicopter. Just got to land it on the map. Got to be careful, though, because I'm still in the restricted area. Attention, whoever you are. You are trespassing in illegal airspace. Turn around now, or we will fire upon you. Just make sure you stay low and you're all good. There we go, see? Unlocked it. Very nice. Alright, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Wolf it. So yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Wolf it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it didn't anger you too much, some of the gameplay in this video. <laughs> Hopefully it didn't. But yeah, like, share, and join the pack today.